Hello and welcome back. This is the video on how to submit your finished published reflection of a unit. Previously I had introduced how to create by doing a new post, a blog posting, and of course how to work on the area. Copy paste your work, make a finalized statement about the information you learned in this unit. Okay, if it, you have published it, all you have to do is update if you change anything. So I'm going to update, it takes me back to this screen right here. At this screen, I would do not want you just to go hit view blog and copy that link. That link is very useful, but it's not just the page I want you to focus on. So with that being said, we're going to, back in this video here, spot, I published it. It's not does not say draft anymore. It's published. I go in here. I hit the view button at this spot. The view button will now open up my blog spot and then it's going to open up just the page of this assignment. Okay, so instead of this one that has all my work that I could go through and get everything, this is the absolute address of just this post. Okay, it stops there, it goes up the top, you know, this is just this post. It's not all of my blog postings. This is what you're going to highlight and copy, control C, or right click and copy. Open up your buzz and in the Dropbox spot, you're going to paste that absolute web address. It should end with the dot html okay it should not have a whole bunch of numbers stringing out things like that if you opened this screen and you tried copying this link you'll see the difference in just a second this one is incorrect this is your working page okay it's not finalized, it's not published. I want the published page, which is the one where you hit the view button. Now it gives me just this page that's been published to the web. Another thing you'll notice about the differences is this one does not end with HTML like this page does. HTML means that it's now a website, web page. This is just a working page. Alright, so the difference of submitting the web address for your blog then from the docs, the big difference is you first have to have it published, then you hit the view button. If it's not published, you cannot turn it into me. Okay, it has to be published and hit view. Once you hit the view button, you of course put that into the website address. If you're unsure, you paste it down here, it will help me quickly determine what is wrong with your link. Okay, it's not like in the Google Doc where you hit the share button and you get your link that way. And in Google Docs, you get the link here and not up here. This again is yours because it has edit. Whereas if you did the link to share it, the ending says share. Okay. I'll have to copy it and show you. It's not going to show you the very end. 
Okay. This is a Google Doc that's been shared as a link. This is a blog that's been shared. So if you see the words docs or slides or whatever Google and you're submitting your blog posting, that's the wrong address. So please be careful to look at those facts. Again, thank you for watching the video and try to make sure you're submitting the correct links. Do not submit a link that looks like this. That is not a finished pub product. All right, and of course, hit submit and you're done.